represent students in all corners of campus. It's really exciting to see the USRA program include students in all of our six faculties in the program of arts and science on campus. Today, today's event is a really wonderful way to bring people from different disciplines together to help promote the understanding of diversity of scholarship across campus. So on behalf of the MSU, I'd like to thank the School of Graduate Studies for hosting this event, NSERC and the Office of the Vice President of Research and International Affairs, and the deans of your faculty for providing the funding for your awards. But more specifically, I'd like to thank you, the students, for pouring your hearts and souls into these projects and for showing the McMaster community what it really means to be a McMaster student. Thank you. So tremendously well. So thanks again to John and thanks to the MSU for their support um, for all of you and, and for the work that we've been doing. Congratulations. Um, I don't normally talk about my jewelry at events like this, but I want to just mention it today because um, one of my staff people gave me this, this necklace, which you might have seen these around campus. This is a, a pencil for kids, and it was made handmade by a fellow in Africa who takes local. Um, materials and makes them into pencils and makes them into necklaces. And the goal is to educate the world about the need for increased education around the world. He's particularly concerned with the needs in, in rural parts of Africa, um, where they're sometimes more concerned about getting safe fresh water than they are building schools. But there's an awareness that to be able to, to grow any sort of community, you need to have education growing at the same time that you're having other sorts of infrastructure growing. So, I love this necklace um, because it reminds me of a couple of things. It reminds me that we should recognize how lucky we are to be in Canada and to have the kind of educational system that we do, but also that we shouldn't take for granted what we have, that we should always push to the next limit. And so when I look around the room here today, what I see are people who've taken the educational experience that we can all here at the NASA, which has some of the best faculty, some of the best infrastructure, some of the best research groups and libraries, in North America and the world probably. But you've taken your research beyond just sitting in the classrooms, beyond the labs and the libraries and the lectures, into actually trying to generate some new knowledge and become part of the educational system yourselves. And so for that, um, I applaud you and I think you all the, I haven't seen all the posters yet, but I have had a lot of Hecton Spengler uh, reaction, which is apparently quite difficult to do. Um, and uh, I'm hoping to learn a lot more about the others. The other thing that this pencil reminds me, and, and John mentioned this in his comments, is diversity. Um, that different people have a diversity of perspectives and needs. And for me, this is one of my favorite events of the year because I get to interact with people from so many different disciplines, from all different sides of the campus. And we can see the you know, folks from SHRP sitting next to folks from NSERC and learning all different kinds of things. And if we want to solve the problems of, of the world today, we can't do it by working in isolation. We're going to have to work with teams and we're going to have people come in together across the different perspectives to be able to solve those problems. And um, the last thing that the necklace reminds me of is simply that we should take risks. Um, the fellow who made these pencils into necklaces never expected it would have the impact that it has had. He's raised you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars to, to build schools all over uh, rural parts of Africa. If he hadn't taken that risk and made that effort to get his message out, he never would have discovered what it is that he loved to do and what he was meant to do. And I think you guys all, in doing your summer research projects, you're taking a risk. You're going beyond just sitting there reading your, your lecture notes and answering multiple choice quizzes. You're taking a risk to find out if this is something that you really want to invest your, your hearts and your souls into. And hopefully, it was a terrific experience for you. When you go on to graduate school, or medical school, or law school, or um, a career in something else, that's irrelevant to me, although I want you all to come to my master for graduate as well as um, But what I do hope is that what you've learned in the summer research projects, you'll carry with you throughout wherever your career may take you. And you'll think back on that summer, and hopefully this day is one of the highlights of your master career. So thank you very much.